I'm Sam Dyson of Luxury Locations and today I'm with Alex Grimley, AKA Alex Rocks. The last video that uh, Alex did with us was at Rocuni over in Nonsuch Bay talking about uh, finding a new buyout for the restaurant. Uh, Alex also mentioned at the time that there was going to be some exciting news and a new venue. So we are currently in that new venue. Alex, can you tell me where we are and uh, all about it? Yeah, thanks, Sam. Uh, very excited to announce that Rockuni is going to be moving to Sugar Ridge Resort, which is uh, the restaurant formerly known as Sugar Club. Uh, we're taking over the whole first floor. Um, we've come together with, with um, the new owners here who are clearly you know, doing a great upgrade on the property. And we're in a position now to mention that we are going to move the whole restaurant over here. The concept is pretty much going to stay the same in terms of it's still going to be an Asian inspired restaurant, but there's going to be a lot of changes in the restaurant. Um, we're looking at having on one side is going to be a bar and a lounge. On the other, on, in the center here behind us is actually going to be a new bar that you will arrive to when you come up the stairs. And then the restaurant is going to be on the right hand side. And um, there's going to be a high focus on having a beautiful sushi counter. We're installed in a robotic grill. Uh, the lounge is going to be a great spot to be able to sort of work and chill during the day and we're going to have some parties in there at night. The doorways are going to change to glass so that we can be closed up if we want it to or it can stay open and breezy and like a lovely breezy day like this. When are you planning on opening? As you can see, there's a lot of work to do. It does look um, that way. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's still in the state of the original restaurant and uh, obviously that's been closed for a couple of years now and so there's, there's work to do you know, the whole floor is going to be ripped out and it's going to be tiled. And as I said, we're going to replace all the doors with glass. And in fact, where we're sitting now, it's actually going to be closed off on glass all the way to the end, but with windows you can open. Right, so that when you come into the bar, this section is a whole space and then it separates out the other. So there's a, there's a, lot, of, there's a lot of work to do there. I, we are estimating to open in November. Right, so, so mid to late November is the, the date we have in mind. The restaurant here has been closed a couple of years. It uh, needs some work and you mentioned the design and sort of glass. So what's the overall sort of concept and design? Are you, are you leading that? I mean, you're, you're really a sort of chef by you know, original training. Are you gonna get involved with that? Yeah, I've always been very heavily involved in what the place will look like, but when it comes to the final design, I draft in the team because it's hard to imagine how it all comes together in the end. So I have lots of ideas of, okay, I want booths over there because when you sit at a booth, you can look out over the pool and it creates a private space. And I want that to be a jungle on that terrace. And, you know, I'm, I'm good at that. And, and the bit which I think I pay most attention to is always the flow. How is it going to be used? If you walk in there, what can you see yep. in either space? You know, you don't want to see too much. You want to keep it exciting, but you need to be able to see something cool in the lounge right something cool in the dining it's got room. to draw you in that's it you want to see that the place is busy but not invade everyone's privacy when you come into it so i'm very always very keen on how it's going to be used you know what's the seating arrangement going to be like what does the table look like given that rokuni at the moment is on the east coast and now we're moving it to the west coast are there opportunities for uh, local chefs uh, and people who wish to work in the restaurant industry at Rokuni uh, on the west coast here. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, mo moving it over doesn't necessarily leave gaps because I think people are staying on the east coast. But actually, the team is quite small over Rokuni where it is now, and the operation here is going to. Well, we imagine. I mean, looking at sort of you know market research and uh, sort of doing our own work, we imagine it's going to be double the size of the business quite quickly. And so we'll be looking to recruit. So. If anyone is interested, they can always look out on our socials and usually around late September time, early October, we're recruiting. So if anyone is interested in working here, it'd be great to hear from them around that time. Excellent. Given the size of the location, how many covers do you think you'll be? How big will the restaurant be? So, as I said, the bar is about 20, which will mainly be for drinking. Uh, the dining room itself is going to be roughly 60 covers, 50 to 60. That includes um, about 10 on a sushi counter, which I can walk you through in a minute. Then we're going to have booths outside, which will seat between 16 and 20 people. We've also got a private dining terrace, which is going to be designed like a little jungle. Right. Um, and that's going to sit uh, roughly 16 to 20 people as well. 
Um, and then the lounge will have seating for about another 50 to 60 people, also with a uh, private balcony on this side and also another little jungle private balcony on the other side. So quite, wow. a, quite a lot of seating. And um, so easily can have sort of 120 to 150 people here at the same time comfortably. Exciting times and a, a big project. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so should we have a look around yeah. and you can tell me about what we're going to be doing. As you arrive here, there will be this will all be glass here. Obviously, there'll be some planters, sliding glass doors. You'll be met by a hostess. And then behind the hostess will, or host will be a bar um, with stalls around it. And then, as I say, this whole area here can be closed up or can be left open and breezy like it is now. Um, and so the glass will go all the way to the balustrades at the end and it creates a really cool space. Nice symmetry, which the whole place was designed very well for that. Yeah. And um, good, strong, dynamic cocktail concept right. at the bar, as we had at the other Rockuni, the original. And then obviously you can sit here just for a drink. You can go to the lounge to hang out or you can go through to the dining room. So we'll start right. with the dining room, shall we? Right. So you come through here, this wall will be removed, all the furniture, everything will be different, it'll be painted, it'll, all the lights changed and everything. But as you come through, what you'll be able to see is a beautiful sushi counter along the back wall there. Right, um, where that all, extra large table is. Yeah, roughly where the extra large table is and tiled wall on the back and just a very clean, you know, countertop where we will do sashimi, maybe some cold starters and some sushi. And then out here, we've got a private dining area, which here we'll be able to have like a sort of waiter station so you can have a butler and then down there we're talking about having bonquettes on the side. It'll be like wooden screening behind it with lots of greenery to close it in to make it a really cool intimate space that we can either set tables in there, you know, if, if we don't have a big booking or it could be privately booked for like a group of sort of 10 to 15 or something. So as we come out here on one of the other balconies that face, so this is the restaurant balcony that faces the pool. So remember there's gonna be glass there with a glass door that you can go through to access the bar. And then here we're gonna have booths. So the booths will come out and basically face the pool area. There'll be quite high back seats so that when you're sat there, you know, you're very comfy, the cushion right. goes to the back of your head. But then above that, there's also gonna be, again, like this wooden sort of screen that we've talked about already. So you feel that you're very much just sharing the space with your friends. And we're gonna have four booths in total along here. Okay, and then bathrooms which will be refurbished as well and will be sort of broken up with, again, more greenery and planters there. And then those doors um, will actually just be condemned because that's access to the kitchen on that side. Right. If you wanted to go into the main lounge, actually something I should have pointed out is this big doorway is actually gonna change and the doors are gonna be in the center on both sides. So they're actually gonna be sliding doors here. So it's gonna be a 20 foot glass opening to be able to see in. So when you, whichever angle you come from, you'll be able to see down the center of the right. space. So in this one, you'll see the bar at the end and in that side, you'll see the sushi bar at the end. So it's kind of... Right, so effectively, cool. it's kind of opening out visually exactly. all the way through. So again, sliding doors here, you'll come in and there will be a whole lounge designed in here. So lots of low seating furniture, low tables. It will all be removable. So there'll be no screens or anything so that we could also do an event or a party or whatever in here and sort of designed along the way that we can have, you know, if people want to get up and dance, that they can do that in their, in their little areas yep. and spaces. We imagine this being a good spot for a party. So exciting yet daunting phase of planning it out. I think what we want to be mindful of is not ending up with 90 seats at a lounge, yep. because that's quite a tough shout to fill that. At the same time, I don't know how I feel about somebody dining here as if it's restaurant and being so removed from the rest of the restaurant. So what we really need to finalize now is just how we get that flow right so that, you know, we're delivering what it is that people want, you know, and that's right. always a little bit of a challenge is to sort of work through that finer detail of, you know, what happens if you've got 80 covers in the restaurant, you need a little bit of an overflow, this could be a great space for that. You know, it's so beautiful and breezy. You've got the sound of water, you've got the view. It could all work quite nicely. It could be booths and we could make those booths that they're dining or drinking. If we make it only lounge, I'm worried, do we end up with too much lounge? Yeah. So there's a couple of bits that we still need to work through and finish our research on 
how we think people are going to use it, how many covers each one, what happens before and after dinner. You know, do you want to, are you just coming for dinner? You want to be out in an hour and a half, two hours, or are you making a night's event? You want a cocktail at the bar first? You want to go to the lounge afterwards for, you know, something else, a nightcap, you know, or you want to come to the party. Alex, thank you very much. Um, for you out there, you heard it here first. Rokuni's new location, or Rokuni West as it's known for this short period, is at Sugar Ridge. Uh, opening in November, very exciting times. We will no doubt be back to see the transformation and we will be here for opening night, I'm sure. You will indeed get an invite, don't worry. Thank you very Thanks, much. Sam. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> Thank having you, us Alex. as always. Look forward to seeing everyone here. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. If you like this video and you want to see more videos about property, lifestyle and things going on in Antigua, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.